Hi, I'm Greg Cameron from RS Design Spark. This video is part two in the series showing how to connect sensors and switches to the wider network. Hi, I'm Luke Walsh from Brainboxes, a manufacturer of connectivity and data conversion products. And I will be talking about how you can combine the power of the PLC, a PC, and the Raspberry Pi to monitor, control, and gather data about devices on the factory floor. So if you've seen the first video, you'll recognize the demo board. What Luke will do now is take us through each of the areas within the demo board, what exactly each of the areas is doing, and what the applications for this typical type of setup can be within industry. From our original demonstration, we have a Schneider PLC, an M221, and a Schneider Magellis HMI. We've added a Brainbox's 8-port Ethernet switch, and we also have a Brainbox's ED204, which has four digital I.O. lines and a serial port, and an Ethernet switch and this Brainbox's ED527, which has 16 digital output channels and can be controlled over Ethernet. What we've added to the demo is this uh, Raspberry Pi in a Phoenix Contact DIN rail mountable enclosure. And this is the controller for the system with the Brainbox's software on it. Previously, we showed how a PLC can use Brainbox modules to monitor and control sensors and actuators remotely. The visualization of this system state was actually shown on the HDMI module. And what you can see already is that's been expanded quite significantly. And I'd like, look, just to take us through exactly what's happening here. Sure. Uh, so in the middle, you can see there are a number of inputs. And on this side, there are a number of outputs. When I press an input, for example, this green button, the fan comes on on the output. Likewise, all the displays automatically update with the current state. If I press the red button, the fan goes off. If I move the slider, the light goes on on the LCD display. And finally, this is a proximity sensor at the top. If I move some metal across the proximity sensor, you can see that it increments. Now, as an, another example, because this system is connected using the Brainbox's software through the Raspberry Pi, I can also do the same thing from my own device. So if I press on the number, all the numbers increment. If I press on the fan, the fan comes on and everything is instantly updated. And likewise, I can press the alarm. So this is a really good example of how you can extend the reach of your factory monitoring and control more broadly across your company network. So look, we have a lot of focus on Industry 4.0, IoT, legacy systems. We're getting lots of um, information here at Design Spark from our customers asking about these. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more how this kind of setup will help with that? Sure. Uh, at Brainboxes, we get the same questions from our customers. Increasingly, they want to take their existing legacy technology and add to it. They don't want to remove what's already there because PLCs work extremely well for them and are absolutely reliable. However, they add, we want to add an extra layer on top of it. So we take the legacy technology, we add in some monitoring and control over a network, and we can bring it to, towards Industry 4.0. Okay, great. So we're actually talking about retrofit rather than overhaul and complete new installation. Exactly. And there, there are a lot of talk about by 2020, there will be 20 billion devices as a part of the Internet of Things. So clearly, most of those devices already exist today. And the key question is, how do you get those devices onto the network? And that's where a solution such as this Raspberry Pi, which interrogates the Brainbox's modules and serves it to the wider network, comes in. And there are many additional benefits to this. Uh, corporations increasingly want to tie all their data together. Currently, uh, machine data is in a silo on the machine itself. The operator has to go up to the machine to retrieve the data. However, using this approach, they can take the data from the machine and integrate it with other data around the organization. Look, this is really interesting. What I'd like to know is exactly how you managed to piece all this together. And for our customers, how would they be able to replicate this in an industrial environment? Sure. So the, the first thing to say is all the hardware you see here is available through RS, and all the software is using either free or open source software. The Brainbox's demonstration software is posted on DesignSpark. Thank you. 